Hello there, I'm Tom from Smart Aerials, uh, and welcome to my video on how to show you how to terminate a um, RJ59 cable uh, with a BNC plug. So this is, what we, this is what we use for CCTV cameras or connections into DVRs and stuff like that. So um, today, uh, the tools I'm going to use in are one BNC crimp tool, a standing knife, just some side cutters in case we need to cut the cables a bit shorter, and a BNC plug which comes in three parts. We've got like a little ring, the main part of the plug, and the fiddly little inner bit, which the uh, copper goes into, uh, which you, I recommend buying some, split, some spares, because you certainly will be losing them. So if you're doing stuff up ladders, you know, fitting cameras up at um, gutter height and stuff like that. And a little bit of RJ59 cable. Yeah, this this is actually an RJ59 twin. So if you need to, you know, run a separate power to your cameras, you can do it with this. I'm not going to show you how to do that. Those type of connections in this video. That's a separate video. Um, but let's begin. So first things first, I'm going to just going to separate the two cables because, like I said, we don't need the power one, um, and we're just going to have the RJ59. Actually, I'll tear it right off. Just lean over. There. So we've just got the RJ59, which is what you would which is what you might have anyway. Uh, and we're going to put the little inner ring on first. Now, actually we'll have to separate that. It's just not, it's not letting me get in there. I've also got a, a pint of water here um, because it's about 45 degrees in our office today. <laughs> and I've got tissue just to mop the water as it leaves as soon as it goes in my mouth. It's just leaving straight out my forehead. So I apologise if I'm if I sweat all over the lens or this camera or anything like that. So now we've finally got the ring on. Put that remember to put that on first, because if you don't put it on first, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a nuisance to get the fit on once you've done the rest of this bit. So we're gonna prepare a little bit of the cable. That's it. It's just over an inch. Uh, or two and a half centimetres in the UK here. And we're going to reveal the inside of the coax cable. So we've got the the ground shield, and we've got the the dielectric in the middle, which is job just to keep the separation between the two of them. And you can sort of see how how far you want to sort of be cutting it because that would sort of sit like that, and then we've got the inner pin that's got to fit in. And when you look inside, you can sort of see, but it's it's about here. Right. It depends on the plug, all plugs are the same, so it's best you might have to sort of adapt this and have a little play around um, to get the right sort of length. Now that is too long, that end bit. I'm going to trim that down a tad. So we're left with something that looks a bit like that. Now what we do, we sit the inner pin on so it sits like that, can you see? It's just sort of sitting on the middle. Now some crimpers allow you to sort of crimp that. Um, but you don't really need to, to be honest. And then the outside part of the plug, so the main part of the, B, the BNC, that sort of slots through. And then the inner pin, sorry, so it slots through, it's not going in. Why are you not going in? There it's gone in, so it's getting caught there. So then the, the little pin starts to at the end, and you'll feel a little click. When you feel that click, it's gone far enough. If you keep pushing it, you'll just shove the, uh, the white bit out and it, the plug will just become unreliable. When you pull it in, it will just start falling apart. Uh, and now, with that metal bit and the, the braid, that just a squash down on it, get it down as far as you can. So your left looks like it looks a bit like that. So we've got the, um, we've got it on there and the braid's poking out the side. And with the correct setting, on your BNC crimpers, mine's the end one, but your one might be different. Uh, we just give that a squeeze. Now these are ratcheting crimpers, so I go all the way, it comes back, and I'm left with something like that. So that's crimped in position now, that won't come off. Um, we'll just get back the braid there, you want to sort of stand these up, stand these bits tight up. You can get a rubber boot, which will sort of sit all the way over that bit. And it'll make a, it'll make a much, much nicer looking connection. Certainly a lot more professional if you're doing this in customers' houses. I would usually do that on the DVR side because that's the, that's the part the customer's dealing with. On the camera side, I wouldn't bother because it'd be hidden behind it, you know, behind the camera or it'd be up in the soffit or something like that. You're never going to see it. 
uh, and that actually probably would make it a bit more difficult to fill it in the tight spaces that we work with with cameras. Now that's ready to go, so with our camera here, this is just a Hikvision 5 megapixel dome camera, we've got the video input and then we've got like literally a male and female. Um, I don't know what we're going to start saying when I think it goes gender neutral, <laughs> the inner out bit. But, um, and then that just sort of clips in position there, and then that will, that's it. Uh, on the, you notice on this one, we've still got the DC power cable here. Uh, actually, on these type of cables, we, 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 on these type of cameras and DVRs we use, we use typically uh, POC cameras, POC cameras, which is power over coax, which if you've got two compatible bits of equipment, like the DVR and the camera, you don't actually need the DC cable. So you don't need to run it, but usually with most sort of CCTV systems, you'll be putting separate termina terminations in for your DC um, and a separate power supply in at the DVR end to power the cameras. Um, but if we pretend that that's still on there and that we've done the other end, the other end is going to our DVR, which is just a Hikvision standard one we use in houses. And we just pick the right input, so camera one, Screw in there and that, that's ready to go. So that's how you make the BNC plug for an RJ59 cable for CCTV. Uh, if I get that back out again. I hope you do, I do hope you like this video. Um, if you have any questions, please do leave in the section below. Uh, please do give it a thumbs up and a like if, if this was helpful. I, I hope this saved you money or, or got you out of trouble. If, you, if you're on an installation somewhere, you don't have to do this type of thing. Um, anything else in here, please do get reach out. Please do give us a like on Facebook uh, if you're watching it here or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more, uh, more sort of videos like this. Uh, and um, that's it. So I'm Tom from Smart Aerials. Bye for now.